Steve here in the Illinois Recording Studio. Hey, got some cool stuff here. Uh, you'll see this entire set, the Tom's bass drum and snare drum, as part of our uh, Maxwell private auctions business, which is uh, kicking off shortly. More on that later. What we've got here, and it's uh, just an incredible, incredible set. This is a uh, new Craviato solid maple, curly maple, 9 by 13, 16, 16, actually 15 by 16, 15 deep by 16, 14 by 22, and uh, with our, uh, the beautiful large diamond cast lugs. And this is done in burnt curly maple. And to, uh, people have to understand, you know, curly maple is rare to begin with. To get that burnt look, Saul Rocha, our master craftsman down at Craviato who runs that operation, has to take a torch and do a very, very light burn across each one of those pieces of the shell. It's very, very arduous work. It's incredible, not only on the shell, but also on the wood hoops. The wood hoops have inlay, the shells have inlay. Exquisitely beautiful kit. And with uh, wood hoops on the toms, the toms then have uh, what I call a lighter, airier, more organic sound to them, and to say nothing of the fact that they're physically much lighter. But uh, beautiful stuff. Now, along with this, I decided to, to do this along with one of the 6.5 by 14 Craviato Timeless Timber Bird's Eye Maple Drums from my collection. This drum, uh, Johnny did a small run of 6.5 by 14 Timeless Timber Bird's Eye just for me. There were only five drums. And those were uh, Bird's Eye Maple with 24 karat gold hardware with engraved rims. This drum was done as a one-off for a, um, a player, a fellow by the name of Wayne Salzman II, overseas. Uh, the badge has an SPL indication on it as a special, and a Craviato Drum Company at the bottom of the badge. This is uh, a, basically a one-off. The 65 by 14 Timeless Timber, Bird's Eye Maple. This hardware is chrome as opposed to the other which was gold-plated, and this shell is what Johnny used to call a curly bird shell. It's got bird's eye in it, but it's also got aspects of curly maple in it as well, which is even more rare. So what we thought was, for offering this incredible 13, 16, 22, might as well offer it with one of the finest snare drums in the whole world, and talk about collector pieces. This was made by Saul Rocha, who worked side by side with Johnny for over 20 years. The snare was made by Johnny back around 2008, and of course it's signed on the inside. That's Lake Superior wood. This is not Lake Superior wood, but uh, it's an incredible combination, and it would be a great kit for Cornerstone for a collection. Uh, unbelievable in a recording studio. Uh, great for live gigs, as long as you want to hire a security person to stand by the front and make sure nobody gets anywhere close to the drums. Uh, so, we'll do a little sound file for you here, and uh, you'll see more on this a little bit later. You'll see this YouTube video, and then we'll have more info as uh, the private auction site becomes uh, more available. All right, here we go. <laughs> 